Kia ora te whānau, uh, kei roto roa mātou i tēnei wā, he hi tuna te mahi i tēnei wā. Uh, so here we are at the annual tuna harvesting for Ngāti Apukite Rātō at Roto Roa. It, it's really significant for us in that um, one, we know that we're connected to this area and that we have a, a spiritual connection to the area and that this was our pātaka kai. Uh, but also in our claims process, uh, in our deed of settlement, there is a section there, in there that acknowledges Ngāti Apa's connection here um, and provides us with an opportunity to come here and uh, to harvest tuna. So for the last five years we've been doing this as part of our um, hui ato. This is one of our uh, special places for Ngāti Apakiti Rātō. Uh, for me it's the transferring of that mātauranga Māori from one generation to another generation. So again, whether it's our reo, whether it's weaving, whether it's carving, whether it's harvesting tuna, um, that our expression of Ngāti Apakiti Rātō tanga or that what make, makes us uniquely Ngāti Apakiti Rātō um, gets passed down to the next generation. What we're here to do today, we're actually here to set our hinaki and tomorrow morning we will actually go and collect them. A mahinga kai was basically uh, a weka, yep. eels and uh, blue ducks. We were, uh, they were abundant here. The so, bird life. There are two kōrero around the creation of Rotuiti and Rotoroa and he One. created the whole landscape and made his way from Whakatū throughout to Tauihu and then made his way down into what um, down into Ngaitahu country so that's one lake. And the other version is that we talk about and this is more of a kurahaupo story around uh, Kupe and Te Whekea Muturangi. Kia ora, I'm Lucas and we're here at Lake Rotorua for the annual tuna harvest for Ngāti Apakite Rato to supply for our AGM. We've got a couple tuna, just getting a couple more. They're really slimy and they're, we've got heaps of big ones but we let one of the big ones go. And then we set the nets, we tied them to a tree and stretched them out into the lake and then left them there. Came back overnight and they were full. We had a, it was a writhing mass of black bodies just and we were like, the whānau's gonna be fed. And yeah, it's been a great time and 
What's more to come? So it's been lovely being here with our pakeke um, and them teaching our rangatahi um, this art of tuna. So we've um, called our tuna and we're back to Omaka Marae to process it.